In this video, I want to make a video about Sora. I think you've probably seen it already. Sora is a text to video tool. It's from the same team that creates ChatGPT. It's from OpenAI, as you can see here. And when you go to the website of Sora, you can see these amazing videos that is created with AI. So when you scroll down here, you can see here all these examples that they made with Sora. And this looks really realistic. So I can't wait to try this out to really give it a taste and see how this works when you try it out yourself. So for now, we have to wait because as they said, Sora is not yet available to the public. They're only sharing their research progress early to learn from feedback and give the public a sense of what AI capabilities are on the horizon. But you can clearly see in these videos, it looks really cool. So this is definitely one of the coolest things I've seen lately from AI and I definitely can't wait to try this out myself. So we have to wait on this, but for now, I'm just gonna show you another tool that's also with text to AI video but you can also upload your own photo and let me show you how this works. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video so I can make more videos about AI and about Photoshop actually and all the design related stuff. All right, let's get into my browser here. If you go to pixverse.ai, we can see this website here and then you'll click on get started in web to open this up. Now, once you click that, you will have to log in, create an account, and here you can see the examples they make. It's obviously not as good as Sora, but as I said, we don't have access to Sora yet, so we have to do it with some kind of other tools that are available for free, right? So sometimes it looks good, sometimes it looks a bit weird, but I think when you use this tool to add some motion to a photo, it's pretty cool to create some reel for Instagram, for instance. So once you do that, just click on create and here you can select text or image. So if you select text, you can write a text and it's gonna make a video from your text. And if you select image, you can upload your photo or artwork. So let me upload, for instance, this artwork here. And then I wouldn't write any prompt. I'm just gonna upload this image and see what it creates from this. Now let's increase the strength of motion. So we have a lots of motion in this image. Oh, it's getting an error here. Let's upload it again. Upload file, bear upload. And I'm gonna increase the strength here to 0.90 to get a lot of motion. Now let's also enable HD quality to get the best quality here and then click on create and let's create this video from this artwork. So this is the video it created. The water is kind of cool, but the background is a bit weird. So maybe you can try this out with a different kind of photo, but I like how the way the water moves. It's like a little motion in your image to make a video from an image, right? So let's now go to text. And here we can write the problem. Let's say a fox walking through a city. And let's keep all the other stuff as it is. And here you can select the style. Let's keep it as realistic and let's do white screen here and create and see what it creates. So this is the video it created. As you can see, it's nowhere near the quality of Sora, but maybe you can use this tool for your artwork and then you can create some awesome videos from it until we get access to Sora, right? Because that's what I'm waiting for now. I even sent a message to Sora to try out the tool, but they don't respond, so I have to wait. This was just a quick little video to show you how to create a little kind of animation from your photo. When I get access to Sora, I will make sure to make a video about it so you can also see how this works and I can really try it out myself. So until then, don't forget to subscribe and like this video and catch you on the next one.